Welcome to TTG Tidbits, a series where we cover quick tips and tricks to help improve your DIY digital marketing skills in two minutes or less. Today, I'm going to be going over how to use IconFinder.com, which is a website that allows you to search a database of free icons, as well as some premium ones that you can use for design purposes or adding a little bit of extra spark to a web page. Uh, as you can see on this web page here that I'm pulling up, we added three different colored icons to the page just to make it a little bit more interesting than it would be if we were just uh, creating a plain text page. So to get started, just go to iconfinder.com and type in whatever you're searching for in the search bar. You'll see you'll get a bunch of results here, but you'll notice that a lot of the results have a little crown icon in the top left hand corner which indicates that they are not free. So if you're searching for free icons only, just make sure that you select the free button in the top left-hand corner of the site, and that will filter the results to be free icons only. So once you find an icon that you like and you're happy with, just select it and then make sure that you don't have to give any credit to uh, an artist. And if you do have to give credit to an artist, make sure that you do give the proper credit indicated by the website. And when you're ready to go, just click the green download icon in PNG button. And now that I have the icon downloaded, I can drag it to my project. Let's say that I'm creating a social square here that I wanna post on my business's Facebook page. I can just drag it right into Photoshop and I can recolor it if I'd like. So I'm gonna turn it white in this case. And it's as simple as that. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tidbits in the future. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below.